it's official youtube has lowered the subscriber requirement needed to unlock the community tab to 500 or more subscribers so let's talk about some stuff that you need to know about how to get the community tab on youtube currently creators with a thousand subscribers or more can use the community tab to post polls images animated gifs and more Android users can even post carousel type images from their phone. This feature is coming to iOS users and desktop users really soon. You don't really need to do anything to unlock the community tab once you have reached the subscriber threshold. So in other words, you don't need to send YouTube a notification. You don't need to enable something in YouTube studio. You'll get an email notification from YouTube about seven days after you reach the subscriber threshold, which is currently at a thousand but being lowered to 500 and the email basically lets you know that the community tab has now been unlocked and that you can find it on your channel the community tab is a great way to not only reach your viewers but new audiences across the youtube platform without having to make a whole video youtube went on record to say starting october 12 2021 we're lowering the eligibility for community posts from channels with 1000 subscribers to all channels with over 500 subscribers for channels under 500 subscribers, we are working to bring community posts to you in the future. They made an additional note saying, it may take up to one week to see the option to create community posts after your channel passes 500 subscribers, which is the way that it works now, but you have to have 1000 subscribers. And while this may seem like a lesser used function or one not as exciting when you take into consideration the whole YouTube experience, it does provide a whole new engagement opportunity for those of you that are looking to share updates, get viewer feedback, and basically enhance the connection with your audience. YouTube also notes that as a result of expanding its access to the community tab, to more creators, it is also going to get rid of the discussion tab also on October 12th. The discussion tab served a similar purpose to community posts and the community tab in that it allowed the user to share text-based updates with their audience. But since the community tab is essentially the same thing, only with more enhanced feature, it makes sense to get rid of the discussion tab to make way for the change. The only impact with that is that the discussion tab is available Available for channels with under a thousand subscribers so it will reduce access to these additional engagement features for smaller channels but then again most people don't really use the discussion tab because it's basically comments and I guess people find that comments under their videos work much better than trying to have comments in a separate tab you should also note that as a creator, you also have insights in your analytics about your community posts. This can help you determine the type of post that your community seems to engage with the most and how much reach your posts actually have. And here's the thing about the reach of your community posts. I have found that these go beyond your subscribers. How many times have you seen a community post on your homepage from a channel that you're not even subscribed to? Now think back to a post that you engaged with because you just couldn't resist it. Maybe it was a funny meme or a gif or a quote that you particularly liked. Guess what happens the next time that that creator that you're not subscribed to uploads a new video. There is a pretty good chance that YouTube is going to take that video and put it on your homepage just because you engage with the community post. What does this mean for you as a creator with access to the community tab? That community posts can lead to more views and more subscribers because of the potential of new audiences discovering your channel through those community posts. For that reason, I wanna give you a few tips on how to use the community tab, especially if you're someone that has recently unlocked it, or if you will be one of those channels that will soon have access to the community tab come October 12th. Starting with, don't just use it to promote your videos. Take advantage of the poll features. Polls happen to be one of my favorites because you can actually include keywords in there and it helps your audience feel a little bit more engaged. It also doesn't always have to be posts about your channel or your niche. Feel free to share a funny meme or a quote that you really like, a gif that you just wanna share with everybody else. You can also use community posts to shout out a member of your audience and use the at mention. And if they have over a thousand subscribers, when you use the at mention, 
they will actually get a notification that somebody mentioned them and they might visit your channel. You never know. Share a behind the scenes of your day-to-day -day life. And if you use channel memberships, you can also create member only posts to share exclusive content to your channel members only. Community posts are also a great way for you to host a Q&A. If you wanna answer questions in a particular video, you can actually promote the Q&A through a community tab and tell people to just send you their questions and then you have the perfect place where you can go and pick and choose questions that you want to answer on said video. Remember that the point of the community tab, like the name implies, is to build a community. That community is the one that is going to help you grow your channel because you'll have that loyal base of subscribers that will always want to watch the content that you put out. And the more that you make them feel involved with your content, the more content they're going to want to watch from you. One more important thing to consider is that because the community tab is coming to new creators, YouTube might want to push this feature out because they want creators to use it. I am a huge advocate for using all of the tools that YouTube gives you. If YouTube is sharing something with creators, it's because they want creators to use that. It's the reason why YouTube Shorts got pushed out so much in the very beginning and they were getting all of these tons of views. YouTube wanted to make sure that people were going to use YouTube Shorts on the YouTube platform. So they pushed out shorts like crazy. So use your community tab, trust me, it helps your channel grow. So what do you think? Are you gonna have access to the community tab on your channel after October 12th? How do you plan to use it? Let me know down in the comments. You're also gonna wanna take a look at this video to see what other small changes you should consider making in order to grow your channel. I'll go ahead and see you there, bye.